Hello everyone, this is Veronica. Thanks for joining me for my daily scent of the day video. The fragrance I'm wearing today is a love. It is a beautiful, creamy, a gorgeous floral fragrance that I am featuring in another video that I posted earlier this morning called Mother's Day Gift Ideas. And it gives you, that video gives you 12 fragrance options that are appropriate for just about anyone, universally likable, and um, you can find under $100. So for a lot of people, that's considered affordable. For others, maybe that's a bit of a stretch depending on where under $100 it lands. But I wanted to give you some options that were easy to grab, available online, and that you could find on discount websites. So please go check out that video. I'll link it below. And this one's in there. And it is this gorgeous one back here. C. Fiore from Giorgio Armani. You guys, oof. I waited a long time to add this to my collection, mostly because I had a hard time finding it on discount. And um, real quick, a note about that. It's, it's never really about the price. It's more so about the fact that if I can get it on discount, I'm probably going to wait for that unless it's something that I just can't wait to have. And then I'll, I may pay full price. So that's just a quick note about, you know, shopping habits and price points. But this beautiful thing here, oh my goodness. So it's in the video and I have to do one correction to a note about this fragrance in that Mother's Day video. I said that it, it opens beautifully and it does. It is the, the opening of this is probably the most magnificent part. The rest is beautiful too, but the opening puts you on clouds. So that's what I have in the thumbnail. It's actually cotton in the background, tinted slightly pink to give you the sense that it's a very feminine feminine fragrance, but that bed of clouds <laughs> is what this transports you to with florals in it. It opens up creamy, it opens up floral. There's something very sweet in there. The correction from the video that you'll see today if you go check that out is I mentioned that I don't get a lot of citrus at the top of this. It's got as notes black currant, which you see on the thumbnail, <clears throat> and then mandarin, uh, I think it's mandarin orange if I'm not mistaken, that's in the top. And I mentioned that I don't get a lot of citrus. And I just want to correct that and say when I tried it this morning, I did get some of the citrus. So I guess it just depends what kind of mood you're in, what the humidity in the air is like, how your skin reacts to it, what state your nose is in. You know, if you've been sniffing a lot of fragrances that day or other powerful scents, it may be hard to pick up certain notes and fragrances. Okay, I'm rambling. This is a beautiful creamy opening and I have to say that it reminds me slightly, slightly of a fragrance that I just brought into my collection. Uh, the beautiful Joss Jane here on YouTube sent me a sample of Zara, a sweet pastry in Paris. This smells like lemon bars, warm lemon bars right out of the oven at the top. And I realized when I sprayed C this morning that I got a hint of that same beautiful citrus, lemony, sweet opening. And that's why I made the connection about the citrus. So just in case you were wondering, you know, where that came from, it's like my nose woke up this morning and picked up a little bit of that citrus at the top of C. So if you like Zara, a sweet pastry in Paris, you're probably going to love C. Fiore. It's, uh, but it's a more floral version of that, at least at the top. And then as this settles down, it turns into this very fresh, fresh, light, open rose uh, fragrance with a lot of musk. So you get florals in the middle. I added rose to the thumbnail and I also added vanilla because there's some sweetness in here. So this is a sweet, soft, cloud-like floral for the most part of its life with a hint of that uh, juicy citrus at the top, correction from the video as I mentioned. And I just love this. It's feminine. It's beautiful. I love this milky pink bottle here. It has my heart. I like a simplistic bottle as much as I like, <clears throat> excuse me, a really complicated bottle. So 
you know, I love something as decorative as that or something with clean lines like this or something funky like that. I like I like all different kinds of bottles as long as it has some kind of personality. This one does and it's clean and elegant and very feminine to me. You guys, you can't go wrong with this fragrance. I don't think if you like soft, cloudy florals, uh, you got it here. If you're looking for a good Mother's Day gift that could be universally liked, here is a nice option. And it, it transcends age groups. I can see someone very young loving this as well as I can see someone middle-aged or even elderly appreciating the beauty of this fragrance. It's a simply gorgeous, soft floral. There you go. See Giorgio Armani. This is a winner. This gets all thumbs up from me. Have a great day.